Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll go step by step in creating a Nexar project in Unity for the MetaQuest 2 using the Interhaptics SDK to create believable and realistic haptics for your XR project. For time considerations, I have already set up most of the components but will carefully assess the same processes as when creating an empty project. As you can see, I have chosen the VR core core sample in Unity 20.3, 20 which is the oldest version to accept the Oculus integration package if you might need it. We'll verify now that um, everything is checked in the Windows Package Manager um, side and we'll add the Interactive package from its GitHub address. As you can see, the XR plugin management is already loaded, as well as the Oculus XR plugin, uh, not the Oculus integration, which can be uh, added from your assets or directly from the Unity Asset Store. So um, now we can copy the address uh, from the Interhaptic site, which I have already here, and you can uh, add the link directly from the video description but we'll take this link and just copy it in here so you add the package from the git url uh, you have to be very careful that there is no space between uh, that git and the end uh, we have to delete this otherwise it will not uh, correctly load the package and it will give you an error now i will uh, load the package from git in uh, future versions uh, there is also the possibility to update it from here so uh, after the um, uh, scripts are compiled and the assets are uh, downloaded you see here that you can have a field a button to update the package. Uh, next, we'll go to the sample scene, which is already loaded, and add the necessary three the three necessary game objects, um, which uh, will um, put the haptics in your scene. Um, First, we'll create an empty game object for the haptic manager. We can add the component from here. As you can see, uh, we have many haptic uh, possibilities. So we'll add it from here. Uh, this haptic manager can be uh, persistent, uh, so you don't have to put it in every scene and it can uh, be loaded in each subsequent scene if uh, needed. Uh, second, we'll add the haptic body parts on the controllers. Um, this uh, can be added uh, from the component menu uh, in the interhaptics submenu. So as you can see here, we have the haptic body parts and we'll uh, put the right haptic body part we'll add also a sphere collider with let's say a radius of 0.1 uh, should be good and next we'll add the haptic body part with the left orientation and a sphere collider with a radius of one. Um, okay, this is already done. And finally, we'll add a normal, let's say rigid body, a normal game object. Uh, for example, a cube primitive, which will uh, make uh, uh, let's say it's smaller at 0 0.2, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. And on this one, we'll add 
uh, we have to add a special so a special haptic source which is as uh, a special um, type of uh, haptic source so you can also add a normal haptic source which is let's say more customizable this is uh, made to be ready to go and uh, much easier to implement uh, for this i have to choose a haptic material the haptic materials uh, are coming already with the package so uh, as you can see here in the packages in the interactive score sdk you have the haptic material um, more than 30 haptic materials and their corresponding uh, uh, sounds uh, so we'll uh, just take one haptic material from here uh, and let's say move it in our assets because we might uh, want to uh, modify it and it's much easier to modify it in assets and we'll add it to the um, special haptic source as you can see the special haptic source has added a rigid body in the scene which uh, for obvious purposes doesn't use gravity so it doesn't fall down uh, we can let's say raise it up and um, finally we can talk about the offsets which for example here in the vibration offset we can have a special um, uh, float which will tell us when the vibration will trigger uh, these are all the necessary steps as you can see uh, it is very quick to set up uh, the haptics in a scene and the only remaining thing to do is just to push play and uh, test that the uh, collider will trigger the haptic feedback.